Trout Busting Oyas Part 2, Using Them in the Garden. If you want to make your own Oyas, check out my other video titled, Make Your Own Drought Busting Oyas. It's springtime now and my peach tree is coming in, but that's not why I'm here. We're here to do Part 2, or continuation of the Oyas. You can see I have them set up here. Um, by the way, I grew these from seeds, and the reason why I mention it, uh, we've got a chili, a tomato, a squash, and a cucumber plant uh, all up there. They're designed, the seeds, you know, they're altered to grow in containers, so, you know, I didn't want them to get too fluffy, so we'll see how that works out. They're engineered seeds, so I'm growing from there. You can see the oyas are to the left. They're to the left because that's the east side. The sun comes up from over there, that's when it's cool. And as it arcs to the right, uh, where there are no oyas, that's where it's the most hot. I'm going to keep these oyas above ground, and that's why I mention it. The, the plants will shade them from the summer sun, but I'm going to keep them up about two or three inches so that I can get to them and water them very easily. Uh, it's all temporary, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get those set up and I'll show you that. Something I want to show you is going to look for uh, earthworms here. Uh, I like to keep worms in my soil. Just want to show that to you. This is really important, in my opinion, to keep your soil active, aerated, and healthy. The uh, Oyas are holding water anywhere from two to three days. Uh, the standard is two, some go as long as three, so it's wicking a little bit faster in the soil, in the heat, with all things going. Uh, but you know, that's three days of uh, 48 ounces that you can put into that once your roots wrap around the pot. So earlier in the video I showed you, you know, me putting these plants in. You know, I think the best technique would be to drop seeds and just let the seeds here and the roots would grow right away around it. I'm kind of waiting. I have to water here. I'm waiting for the roots to find this. So what I did was is I dropped uh, cilantro seeds here and here. And uh, with the premise being is as they come up, the roots will just naturally gravitate towards it because they are so close to the pot. So that's a really good idea or a technique I think that would work very well for these pots is you, you don't pre-grow your plant. You stick the pot in the ground, you put your seeds around it, and then once you see the plant that you like, you call the rest. Okay, so you can see the pot is back there in the shade. The plant has grown over it, and so it's not being hit by the the sun. I've got my soil meter tester put on moist to check the moisture and I'm going to go ahead and put this in the gram. Uh, by the way you can see that the uh, cilantro seeds are coming in and once again I really feel that this would be the best way to start your plants is seed them and put the seeds on the other side and the roots will be attracted to the moisture right away. You know in a full-fledged plant you know that I planted from seed it takes a while for it to get there but we're going to go ahead and do a meter test. You can see that this is set to moist and it says dry. There's no moisture so we're going to go inside the soil and keep an eye on that needle. And it's saying it is moist. You see how the needle is moved over? Here's the blue where it says whoa this is wet. You can see that it's over at the just where the green and the blue meet so it's saying this is really good moisture content. So I put a thermometer out here and it's only 10 a.m. in the morning so it's going to be really hot. These are going to be distributing water all the time. Okay, so here's a big, big one. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. And there we go. You can see the Oya over here is nice and shaded. I'll try and get it in the light. There it is. This larger zucchini requires a sharp knife to cut it at the stem. I'm going to have myself a salad this evening and uh, these Oyas are doing their job. Okay, so you can see the the cucumbers budding. Here's a little guy right here. Got tiny he is, but you can see they're coming in. Uh, they're everywhere. So you can see this is very prolific. Uh, it's doing very well. This cucumber is, oh, I'd say about three and a half, getting close to four inches. It'll be pickable in a week. There's one here, there's here. They're everywhere. It's doing well. It likes the Oya.
I want to show you the five week growth of the chili and tomato plants. Let me go ahead and show you some close ups of the uh, fertility of both the chili and the tomato plants. So you can see the uh, flowers, the buds getting ready to produce uh, the, the whole chili. You know, it takes a while uh, for these, but uh, it's looking real healthy. Real nice looking plant. You can see flower, which will become chili flower, 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 flower. Uh, flowers, there's flowers all over this, uh, very healthy. So now I'm gonna move to the tomato plant and show you some of that. This tomato plant is roughly four feet tall. It's probably gonna get five, maybe a little bit taller, but you can see it's already producing uh, the buds for tomatoes. They're here, they're starting to flower out. There's more, uh, so the fertility is right. There's flowers everywhere, but they're not all quite bloomed. Uh, but I want this video to remain within the five week time frame. So uh, I'm just showing you the growth. It looks like it's gonna be a very productive tomato plant. Uh, the Oyas are doing their job very well. Okay, so I just inserted this here right next to my plant. This plant has been here for a year. It's a geranium, by the way. It gets extremely hot here in the summer. It averages about 100, 105, you know, July, August, September. Uh, so it takes a lot of water to keep this thing alive. Uh, I, I know that this will really, really help because the evaporation will slow down, and I expect this guy to get up about this high uh, at least. It's been here for over a year, and so I'm looking forward to getting some good results with that water bomb. You can see the geraniums are doing much better. Um, they were planted once again over a year ago. Never did very well. I really believe the extra moisture is giving them the strength when that sun picks up and gets hot, and it has been getting hot. Here's the growth after about five weeks of the geraniums. Uh, one thing I've noticed, here's the cork, is if you push it in firmly, not too hard, you, know, you don't want to break anything, but put it in firmly, it slows the water seepage. It extends it by about 12 hours to 24 hours. It creates somewhat of a vacuum so that the water slows down on its leach leaching process. There you go, you leave it open like this or you don't cover it well, it goes out faster. It creates a mini vacuum. It's not total, totally perfect because this is, uh, you know, it does allow escape, but it does work. So that's a really good tip, something to keep in mind. These are looking good. It's only been five weeks. Nice growth, and they're both from cutting. So thumbs up on that. So this is Calabracoa, and you can see it's spilling out of this pot very nicely. Um, here's the other pot that it's not spilling out of nicely. It's over here. I'm going to take you down there and we're going to go ahead and put in an Oya. This one has a lot of shade throughout the day and that one does not. It sits in the sun so that Oya is going to help milk it and give it moisture. Okay, you can see I've got the Oya in. There's the water. And I'm going to put the dirt right up to the top to try and keep it as cool as possible. And I've got the cork available to me. And you can see that this one is very small. They were both planted at the same time. And I'm just not getting it out of here. And this is where I really want this pot. So, you know, in theory, this should leach out and keep this guy watered during the hottest times of the day. So we're ready to go. I like what I see after about five weeks. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative.